California Golden Bears take on the Michigan Wolverines. Hello again, everyone. Larry Adderley with Jim Brandsetter for another Michigan football game. And Jim, last week, an All-American running back. This week, an All-American quarterback. Oh, he's a quick draw artist from out west, Larry. The name is Rich Campbell, 6'5", 220. A quarterback that has thrown the ball an incredible number of times. Already this year, he has 1,000 yards in passing. Now, that is more yards than Michigan has in total offense. Now, that doesn't tell you something about how many times he'll put it up this afternoon. Nothing will. He's just an outstanding player. In our second week in a row, we get to see a real Heisman candidate. He may throw the ball 50 times, but he completes seven out of every 10. Absolutely. He threw 53 times against Florida earlier this year, completed 43 of them. I think it's going to put great pressure on the Michigan secondary. they got to give him something. I think they'll give him the underneath pass, but uh, they'll take away the deep outside and deep middle. Cloudy, the threat of rain, but it's a throwable day, and they're ready for the kickoff right now. Michigan won the toss, elected to receive. Nick Luckhurst has teed it up for California. Luckhurst, a senior from Redburn, England, who was all everything in England, in soccer mostly. There is Anthony Carter, about the best return man you can have, standing back at the goal line, hiding behind Edwards as Luckhurst sends a kick that will fall near the 10. Carter juggles it, but he's got it, and he's got some room. at the 45-yard line. Anthony Carter starting this game off with a great return. No flags, Larry, and Anthony Carter takes the ball. He has a little bit of trouble in the beginning getting a handle on it. It'll come down, but watch his quick hands. He'll drop it, and then he picks it up before it hits the ground. Makes a good run back to this side, and we're getting ready for the first play of the game. John Wangler, the Michigan quarterback, the ball at the 46-yard line of Michigan, first and 10. Handoff is to Larry Ricks, and he gets a couple of hard yards off right guard. Second and seven. There's Michigan's offensive line, something they're very proud of, Jim, but I don't think they've blocked quite as well as Jim Beckler would like this year. I think they need a little bit more work out of those tackles and guards inside. I think Bo would appreciate that. That's Mitchell and Carter, the receivers, and there you have the backfield, although it is Ricks in the backfield, and Edwards at fullback, and there goes Ricks. The jersey slowed him down, out of bounds at the Cal 45-yard line. Fred Williams, Kevin Moan. Getting him out of bounds, but eh, it'll be a little short of a first down. Larry Ricks limping a little bit coming back to the huddle. He might have gotten a bump on the hip as he was dragged down out of bounds, but again, that's the beauty of having two good tailbacks and the fact that you have Wolfolk and Ricks. California's defensive line, three down, four linebackers. And in the backfield, Williams Beagle, Coach Emilio, and Ahmad Anderson. So it is third, and we'll call it a yard, but it's a little less than a yard. And Stanley Edwards simply goes straight ahead and gains that yard. First down for Michigan. Ulysses Madison, a linebacker, slowed it down, but no way to stop that first down from happening. I think Bo's pleased the fact that the offensive line came off the ball and knocked him out of there, and uh, Stanley had two, three yards before uh, anybody even got to him thing that has to please him the most is the field position you start with on that Anthony Carter return. 35 yards, it's one below his average. First and 10, the California 41-yard line. Wangler, over the middle, knocked down and almost intercepted by Ulysses Madison. Good drop by the linebacker from Cal, and he almost had that one. They figure that Anthony Carter will probably be doubled up so that uh, Alan Mitchell's going to get a lot of work. Now, Wangler goes back, and he runs a curl right underneath the deep backs, but the linebackers take a good drop, and Anderson, or rather Madison, uh, is one of the quicker linebackers back there, and he was able to get over there and uh, uh, almost intercept. Second and 10, Michigan. Still 41-yard line of Cal. The pitch is to Larry Ricks. Good block, cleaning out some space for Ricks. And he is out of bounds at the 28 of Cal. Kevin Moan among the people, pushing him out along with Ahmad Anderson. 
The block that threw, uh, that got him around the corner was that of Kurt Becker. Last week, Becker was the champion of the week. Watch 65, the guard. Here it is, right there. Knocks him down, and that clears it out. Edwards gets a good block on the corner also. He gets uh, Ricks about two or three extra. An excellent block. First down and 10. Michigan on the move in California territory at the 28-yard line. Mitchell split right. Carter split left. Edwards through the middle. Stanley Edwards down to the 17-yard line of Cal. It's another Michigan first down. Nigerian and Moan tackled Stanley Edwards, but that's the power football that Shem Beckler likes. Any coach would like an opening like that in the middle of the line. Quick trap up the middle. They've been trying to run that play all year long with some success. That time, the guard trap was beautiful and a big hole opened up. First down, Michigan. 17-yard line, we'll call it. It's between 17 and 18, and Ricks gets the call on the left side. Runs into a crowd of people. All down. Rich Dixon is there. Flag is also down, along with Larry Ricks. And Kevin Moan, who comes up quickly from the defensive backfield to make stops and has made quite a few in this drive. First quarter action. Holding is the call against Michigan, and that will stall the drive. Well, it's a it's big penalty in that one. They get the loss of yardage on the play. The penalty infraction will be 15 yards if California chooses to accept, so it'll force Michigan into the unenviable position of going first and 25. And one of the keys, I think, to a first and 25 situation is not to try to get it all back at once. Michigan's been moving the ball pretty effectively so far, and I think if they can just try to get eight, nine a crack, they're in good shape. The penalty marked off back to the 33-yard line of Cal. 15 yards, so it is first down and 25 yards to go. Wangler splits Carter out to the right. Cal will be looking that way, and so is Wangler. Instead, pass is complete in the flat to Stanley Edwards, and he falls inside the 15-yard line. He got the penalty all back. Excellent call, I think, on the part of Shem Beckler and his coaches up here in the press box. Knows California's going to be looking for Carter deep or Mitchell down the middle, so he just runs Stanley Edwards out in the flat, and he's got room. Now watch Anthony Carter, number one. He's got a block right here, and that frees Stanley for about three extra yards, and then Edwards lowers that left shoulder, inside shoulder, and pulls through for a couple more as it's second down and about eight. Wangler has Edwards and Ricks behind him, and Ricks gets the call. Good opening. Ricks down near the five. Call it the California six-yard line, and you can also call it a first down. Coach Emilio, defensive back, stopping Lawrence Ricks, and that one had to hurt a little bit. Absolutely, but I think the key again, we talk about the blocking, and not only the blocking of the offensive line, but that time Stanley Edwards. Now, Bo has said all season long, I got to get better blocking production out of my fullback. That time Stanley kicked the end outside. Bubba Paris sustained very well on his block. The hole opened up. Ricks got through the crease in the first down. First and goal at the California six yard line as Carter goes in motion. Being chased by a California linebacker. And Larry Ricks goes right into the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Ricks is the team's leading rusher, 38 carries, 229 yards, averaging six yards a carry, and that six gave him a touchdown, and once again, give credit to the offensive line. There was a good crease in there, and Ricks got through it, and he had nowhere to go except in the end zone because the secondary all drawn up tight because of the fact they were on the goal line. Ali Haji Sheik to try the extra point. It is down, up, and good. And early in the first quarter, it's Michigan 7, California nothing. Ali Haji Sheik set to kick off. Deep, John Sullivan, the freshman running back from California, fields it in the end zone and says no. 
Fix will take this one first and 10 at the Cal 20 yard line. The Michigan scoring drive stopped by Anthony Carter's brilliant kickoff return to open the game and it took him only nine plays to cover the distance as Lawrence Ricks gets only the second touchdown rushing this year for Michigan. That is an amazing fact, the fact that it's only Michigan's second touchdown from the run in Michigan's first three games and you don't usually see that as we take a look at California's offensive setup. There he is, Rich Campbell, the All-American quarterback who spends most of his time passing to his backs. That may change if you give him the other openings. Instead, this time, it's just a handoff to John Tuggle, and Tuggle gets good yardage, about six, perhaps up to the 26. Marion Body up quickly to help make the dot. Turgovac, Carraway, the middle guard. It has shuffled between Carraway and Kelsey this year. Owens, Thompson, Gergash, and Canavino, the linebackers for Michigan. Reeves, Carpenter, Marion Body, and Tony Jackson comprising the defensive backfield. Second and four for California. Rich Campbell has only one back set behind him. That is fullback Dave Palmer. And Campbell throws over the middle, incomplete. Knocked down, but I don't think uh, James Herman was that much of a factor. The ball was just dropped by David Lewis. Thrown a little bit behind, so it is third down and four. Campbell, a senior from San Jose, chasing just about every passing record there is at Cal, and there have been some awfully good quarterbacks there. Craig Morton and Steve Barkowski, just to name a couple. And chasing every record in the Pac-10 also. Big shift, and a flag says something was wrong, as Cal sent three receivers to the wide side of the field and had only one setback. They were going for it. Going to get some distance there, but... The illegal procedure on California. Uh, Rich Campbell right now talking to the referee, trying to get it figured out why or what, and I can only think of illegal shift somehow. Too many people on the move, and had anyone that looked like the play started, so many people <laughs> jumped and came this way. Looked like student body left without the benefit of snapping the ball. What it is is a loss of five, third and nine now. Good field position for Cal at the 21-yard line. Booza comes out wide to the left. In the middle is John Tuggle, and there are two running backs who shift now behind Rich Campbell. Going to throw on third and nine. Got Booza wide open. He is dropped by Reeves, but that's first down. Jeff Reeves pulling Matt Booza, but Cal has a first down at their own 39-yard line. California first down at 39-yard line. The defensive backfield is set up. They're looking for deep pass. You see how far back the safeties are. They don't want to get beat deep. Now you see Booza come into this opening and he just kind of sits there and then you don't have the linebacker dropping back deep enough. So Body has to come up and make the hit. First and 10 at the Cal 39. Give is to Palmer, the fullback. Try to keep you off balance, mixing the run and the pass, even though they will throw 40, 45 times in a game. Herman stopped Dave Palmer. Second down and six. Difficult to get used to all the people, the receivers, they shuffle in and out of the lineup and the positions that they move them to, send them all over the place. Man in motion is the tight end, spray. But the give is simply to Palmer and he barrels ahead for a couple of yards. A penalty flag, however, has been dropped. Credit Jeff Shaw with the tackle. discuss this one with the Michigan team as uh, the Cal shifting offense is causing them some problems. Turgovac. Rich Campbell eavesdropping on the conversation. When you run uh, as many passes as they do and you try to get as many receivers in the right spot as they do, 
a very difficult offense to master. And I think that's one of the problems here early. They've got too many people going to different places at the same time. Campbell has done a good job of mastering it. That completion to Booza, the 500th of his career. Second and 11, California. Now they are moved back to their own 38-yard line. One setback behind Campbell. No, he's going to throw too high. Intended for tight end David Lewis, but a good three, four feet out of his reach. And excellent coverage also. They had three or four people around the football. As I said before the game, I think Michigan's going to try to take away the deep pass, and so they're dropping the linebackers back as far as they can. That time, linebackers got a real good drop. You can see there are four or five people, three people, in a triangle around Lewis, and then the ball just uh, underneath the way deep coverage for the Wolverines. Third and 11 for California. They got out of it last time. To the sideline, complete and knocked loose. No incomplete is the call. John Tuggle had it for a moment, was really nailed, didn't have it long enough, it came right out on contact and it's an incomplete pass. Same pattern that they ran uh, when Booza caught the 18-yarder. This time, instead of going to Booza, he goes to the out cut. Now, Tuggle makes the catch. We'll see if it's a formal. Michigan coaches thought it was. Does he have possession? Larry? Well, I like think it he to did. Me. He, he had turned upfield and started to do something before Brian Cutter delivered the shoulder pad. After an exchange of punts, we pick up action later in the quarter. The Bears will go for it on fourth and one. Like this field position, they think they can do it. Just the fullback, Palmer, and he got it. Running behind the two linemen that get the most praise from Roger Thader, the Cal coach. Harvey Salem and Tim Gallus. Right tackle, right guard. Very simple play. Just a straight dive and one-on-one -on -one blocking. Turgovac angling down, gets pushed out of the play. And that creates enough of a hole. Palmer just jumped over it and got enough for the first down. Very simple play if you make the block. Yeah, if you make the block. First and 10, California now at the Michigan 32-yard line. Campbell got some downs to work with. Throws for the sideline. Incomplete intended for Booza. David Lewis, tight end, was also in that vicinity, but Booza was the intended receiver. They have three good tight ends. Second look at Marion Body, and they're just testing out to see that everything's okay. Appears to be all right. Three tight ends for California, Don Sprague, David Lewis, and Dan Mosley. And they really shuffle in and out of that lineup and all see a lot of action. And sometimes, like now, they don't even play an actual tight end. They're in a slot back position. Second and ten, and in motion goes Sprague. But the motion was just to get him open. Pass is complete to Tuggle. A kind of a screen pass. He had a wall of blockers and almost got behind them, but is close to a first down. A misdirection screen is what it was. Come back, everybody's looking right. Everybody's looking right. And you'll watch Andy Canavino. Now he sees all the action going right. He'll take steps, then he's go back to his linebacker drop. Now they throw all the way back the other way in the screen. Canavino reacts. That's what that couple of steps will do when you uh, take them the other way in the misdirection. But Canavino, even though taking three steps the other way, comes back to getting the hit. First and 10, Cal on the move. Good drive. He started at the own 20 yard line. Palmer can't get away from Lemerand, who was in there and being blocked by Brian Bailey. But Lemerand fought through the block and just gave Palmer enough problems that he could not gain a yard. Mike Lemerand did what coaches will say is stuffing a tackle. Uh, as a linebacker, he took the tackle on and moved the big guy back. And Brian Bailey is a highly touted uh, all-conference tackle. Senior, 6'3", 270. But Lemerand won that battle. Second down and 10. Bugs is the man in motion, crossing behind Rich Campbell, who rolls right to throw. Pusa at the 10-yard line, complete. 
Gergash and Carpenter and Jackson there to stop him, but Buzo was wide open, and that should be, that is, a first down. How does a receiver like this, 6'3", 205, go under-recruited out of high school? Hard to believe, and you know, it's hard to believe that they didn't find a position for him until he was a junior. Last year as a junior, he moved to the wide receiver spot, became the second leading receiver in the Pac-10. First and goal from the nine. California threatening to tie this one up. Don Sprague in motion. Fullback Palmer dives ahead to the five. Penalty flag down. Gergash caught Palmer as he dove straight ahead. Holding is the call, and the Golden Bears get a little setback, and the crowd in Ann Arbor likes that. It's one of the things that's been happening to California all year long. You imagine a team that averages over 440 yards a game in total offense losing three in a row. And Campbell throwing for more than 400 yards in one game and losing that one. And the reason they do is just this. They'll make mistakes when they're down close and they miss the opportunity to score, similar to the way Michigan has played lately. What is it, nine fumbles on the year for California and four or five interceptions? That will hurt a drive. A penalty has hurt their drive here. First down, 25 yards to go. And they got to go all the way. And they're going to. No, intercepted. Brian Carpenter reacted in time to make the interception. Had an open man, and Campbell just threw that one a little under. He throws it a little further, and they might have had touchdown. I think what happened was is that Campbell thought he was beat deep and he didn't see Carpenter coming over. Carpenter just steps in front at the last minute in front of Booza. If he'd have thrown the ball up a little bit further, we probably would have had Booza in for a touchdown. Here's Reeves in the picture. Now watch Carpenter will come in from the right side of the screen. And here's Booza right, and there's Carpenter. And Booza would have had it. I think he didn't see Carpenter was sneaking around the sidelines. Brian ran into the end zone with it, but they, that's his momentum. Michigan takes over instead at their own three-yard line. That stops the Cal drive, but it's Michigan first and ten from their own three. Little conservative call to get some room to work with. Stanley Edwards plowing through to about the nine-yard line. Minute and a half remains in the first quarter. Michigan leading seven to nothing. California drive just stalled on the interception by Brian Carpenter. My dad Wangler getting his second start in a row. The first two games of the season, Rich Hewlett got the start. Wangler got the start last week against South Carolina. Gets the start here today against California. It's the eight-yard line, second and five. It's Edwards again. No place to go this time. Stacked up by the Cal defense. Man on the bottom is Steve Caseri, number 15. Reggie Camp was also close to the bottom, but you have to credit all of them. Second quarter to begin. Michigan second down. Six yards to go at their own 30-yard line. Stanley Edwards finds an opening. He gets a first down, gets the six, maybe a little more. Rich Dixon stopped him, but Stanley Edwards makes it first down Michigan in the first quarter. Michigan out passing California. California out rushing Michigan. Kind of an opposite, <laughs> wouldn't you think? <laughs> Not what you'd have thought going into this one. First and 10, Michigan, 37 yard line. I formation. Edwards and Lawrence Ricks behind Wangler. Mitchell split right, Anthony Carter out to the left, and it's Lawrence Ricks. Between a good block by Anthony Carter and another good one. Mastin and Moan combined to stop Lawrence Ricks, but that's almost 10 yards on the play. Give Kurt Becker credit for a block out there, too. Uh, he pulled out, had the linebacker tied up. It wasn't a picture block. He didn't knock the guy down, but he tied him up long enough, and Ricks was that, that great quickness and great acceleration just split through the blocks and got in for good yardage. Gain of nine, second and one. Langler still got it. Over the middle, complete to Norm Betts, and it's now incomplete. The collision between 
Norm Betts and Kevin Moan came at the same time the ball arrived. I think also something was wrong with the pattern. Michigan had two receivers virtually in the same spot, Anthony Carter and Betts. Wangler has forced to throw it up a little bit. You see there's Carter and Betts, and uh, that brought two, uh, two more uh, defensive backs in there, uh, probably because Anthony's being double covered this afternoon. And when you got that many people around, it's awfully tough to catch the ball because you're going to get a quick hit. Good fake by Wangler. Had everyone frozen for a while, but the play didn't work. It's third down and one. Got to go for the first down, and Stanley Edwards gets it and more. Gives Stanley seven yards as he bowled Kevin Moan and Fred Williams all the way to the Cal 45. I think we're seeing Stanley Edwards run like a fullback for the first time. 32 rushes this year for 119 yards, but both hands on the football. Head down and just legs driving. Now that's the way a fullback's supposed to run in the Michigan offense. He is that fullback position from a tailback, which he's been all his career. And I think Stanley's beginning to figure out what a fullback's supposed to run like. First and 10 at the Cal 45. Stanley Edwards again. He gets eight, maybe nine yards. Stanley averaging just 3.7 a carry coming into this game, but his average is going to go up as he is getting good yardage. And once again, credit the offensive line. They're opening up some big holes in there, and Edwards is able to get through them easily. That's Becker and Bubba Paris on the right side, generally, although Paris and Moransky, the tackles will switch sides from time to time for no real reason other than historical. Oh, there's a reason. Uh, they want to run. There be a reason. There's, no, there's still a reason. Second and one. Michigan. Stanley Edwards. No, I don't know. That it all depends where they spot that one. Rich Dakowski and Reggie Camp were there to meet Edwards, and he didn't have any room to get started. Yeah, I think somebody missed a block that time. You want to give me the reason for that? Well, I'll give you a reason. Okay, I see some that when they run the... Bubba Paris is actually called a quick tackle, and he is to the split-end side of the field. Now, Moransky's called a strong tackle, and he goes to the tight-end side of the field. Now, what that does is that puts your strength to the tight-end side, and there are certain plays that will run better into the weak side or the split-end side, and there are other plays that run well into the tight end side. And sometimes you can force the strength of the defense to your strong side of your tight end and come back to the weak side and maybe break one. You nice. sound more like a coach every week. <laughs> hey, listen, Shem Beckler didn't have me on his ball glove for three years for nothing. If I may play that back and see if I understand it. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble myself. <laughs> First and 10, the measurement says, Michigan at the Cal 35 yard line. Go with a good thing. Stanley Edwards is gaining some yards. He gets another carry and another three yards. Karakazov and Madison, the tacklers for California. Michigan running inside almost the entire drive this time around, except for a couple of passes early. But Stanley, you see, gets uh, inside the tackle, picks up a couple. They may be trying to set him up for some kind of an outside sweep, possibly even an option. That was Powers and Moransky asking for equal time. Lawrence Ricks, little delay, big opening. Inside the 15-yard line, Ron Cochamilio and Caseri stacking him up. But boy, Lawrence Ricks had a full head of steam, and Michigan has another first down. The draw play aligns the offensive line to get better angles on blockers, too, because it takes a little longer to develop in the backfield. Ricks that time got the ball about three yards deep, the offensive line had angles on their blockers. They just took them wherever they, way they wanted to go. Big hole opened up, and Ricks gave them that kind of room, and he's gone. Call it the 15, first and 10. Lawrence Ricks hurdles a tackler, but is met and knocked down by Kevin Moan. Penalty flag. Fader is unconcerned, but he hasn't seen the penalty flag yet. I think he's trying to figure out how to stop this. Personal foul against California. Move it about six yards closer to the end zone, half the distance, where it will be. Second down and two. What great situation this is. You can get a first down, you get what amounts to six shots of scoring. Inside the 10-yard line. From the six-yard line. Carter in motion. Lawrence Ricks. No running room, 
as Kasseri, the linebacker, read that beautifully, penetrated and hit him in the backfield. California up front with a gap eight. That means they had 11 men on the line of scrimmage. They run that in the next time. Don't be terribly surprised if you see a tight end try to sneak back behind there and uh, that Wangler just pop it in there to him. What a game for Lawrence Ricks already. 13 carries, 78 yards. I'd say that's a pretty good start before halftime. And there's 10 minutes and 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Carter comes out. The lineup a little closer. Stanley Edwards go back to the good play from earlier in this drive, and he is close to the first down. Butch Wolfolk trots into the lineup. Lawrence Ricks comes out. A lot of people criticized Bo last week for being inside the five against South Carolina, not going for the point. Well, he's inside the five here against California, and he's going for the point, but the big point. Edwards stumbled, but I think he's got the first down. Wasn't that smooth a handoff between Wangler and Edwards. Credit Stanley for uh, being an outstanding his feet and not let his knee go down uh, before he got to the line of scrimmage I think they got enough it's going to be close but I think they got it by about half a football the blocking had it all right the opening was there had Edwards been able to bang into it full steam no question but right now the question is about to be answered Woo! less than half a football First down at the California four, and Anthony Carter trots back in. Michigan leading seven nothing with 10 minutes to play in the first half. Edwards and Wolfolk are the setbacks behind John Wangler with Carter in motion now to the short side of the field. Wangler looking to throw. He throws out of bounds on the way down. A ball he might uh, have better held on to than thrown away, but the way he threw it, it worked. Rich Dixon hauling him down from behind, and John, I think, wasn't sure those two men were there behind him. I don't know. John is not as mobile as, as he has been, you know, because of that knee injury, and, oh, he just barely got it off. He threw it, wristed it, actually. Watch Anthony Carter. I think it's intended for him just out in the flat. But, boy, they got people all over Anthony. They know that he is Michigan's guy. And Wangler was at that time on the ground. Second and four at the four. Back to the simple. Puts Wolfo goes straight ahead. And he is up for a gain of a yard or maybe two. You know, last couple of weeks, Bo's talked about it. He's been a little bit upset that his guys haven't been able to punch it in on the ground from inside the 10-yard line. I, I don't know whether we should question or talk about it. When you throw on first down like that, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe you should just try to get it in four times just bang it in the middle last rather than throw it first down. Last week, we thought South Carolina should have gone with the big guy, George Rogers. They threw it. It was intercepted. It's conservative, but it works. Langer's passing stats, not that good. Uh -oh. Tries to roll out. Nothing going to happen from that one. California coming hard on the short side of the field. Stop that completely. Lozica and Nigerian, cornerback and linebacker. No deception at all. Looked like the play broke down on the backside, it, or Wangler went the wrong way. But I, it didn't look like it because the fake was there and he was reversing out on a rollout. But. He Boy, was supposed was, to go it alone on yeah, the short side of the but field. but there was no blocking back there at all. Field goal attempt. The ball will be spotted at the 16-yard line for Ali Haji Sheik. It is good. And Michigan winds it over California to 10 to nothing. John Sullivan deep for Calvin deep for California to receive the Michigan kick. And it's a short one, and he does not receive it. Then it's number five, Rogers, a defensive back, up to the 23-yard line on the carry. California will start at their own 
23, first and 10. I'm glad that Rodgers is a defensive back. Last week, I'd seen enough of that George Rodgers out there. 11 yards on return of a kick that wasn't as deep as Sheet usually goes. Michigan missing a great chance in close on California, getting only three instead of seven. And now Cal comes back to see if they can get on the scoreboard before the half. Rich Campbell to John Cargo near the 25-yard line. No room to run. Two yards to pick up, second and eight. Great time-consuming drive for Michigan. 20 plays, almost eight and a half minutes. I think they'd like to see him get six out of that rather than the three. Second and eight, Cal. One setback, but it's a passing situation for Rich Campbell. And when isn't it? Booza open and over the 45. First down. Jeff Reeves caught Matt Booza. Tony Jackson was there to help. Never any trouble on that one. You'll see one of the reasons why this is open. The two deep backs are heading straight back. Now, they're about 30 yards off the line of scrimmage. And underneath, over the linebackers, right in the middle, there's a wide open area. And Booza gets in there, and, you know, he gets tackled almost as soon as he catches it. But, boy, they're giving it to him. First and 10, California at their own 46. Campbell to throw again. Going deep. No chance. Well, there's a chance now. Penalty flag is down. That Inter ball well overthrown, but there's going to be interference call. I think you're going to see interference, absolutely. Looked like Carpenter interfered with the man, pushed him off as the ball was in the air. Reeves? Well, we'll check and see. You see, it's just a straight fly pattern. Now watch Carpenter, number nine. Now he's backing up. They'll come out here, straight fly down the middle. Here comes Reeves over from a safety position, and he bumps him as the ball's in the air, and the flag is thrown. Big gainer without the, uh, the completion that time as the penalty flag helped, but Reeves did interfere with the receiver on his route. First down, California at the Michigan 48-yard line. players juggled position. Campbell incomplete. A little screen set up. John Tuggle had it for a moment. Couldn't hang on. It wasn't that good a screen anyway as Michigan was pretty well in the position they should have been to cover that play. Mike Lemerand is the guy that was in position. His, his uh, assignment on that thing is to get in the middle of the screen and uh, if it comes your way. And Lemoran was in there trying to sift out blockers and find the receiver. And I think he was in the way of Campbell who threw it a little bit in front of the receiver and it was incomplete. Second and 10. Five players change positions. As Campbell goes to put it up again. A lot of time. Open man, incomplete. Tight end David Lewis had it at about the 10 yard line but he was diving and couldn't hold on. Boy, did he get time to throw that ball. Broken pattern. Best pass defense is a good rush. Michigan has not been having the good rush. Campbell gets good protection all the way, and he moves out of the pocket. You see that he's got three or four guys. He's really just moving out of the pocket to see if he's got somebody open. Throws it intended for Lewis. Ball a little bit thrown behind him on the broken pattern. He had to break the pattern, try to come back, and couldn't hold on. Third and 10, California. Got to expect him to throw on this one. Corbuza, instead of Michigan manager, makes the catch out of bounds inside the five. Corbuza didn't understand that either. He was going toward the sideline. The ball was thrown over his head and back in the field. He turned and tried to find it, but no chance. Campbell not that impressive in this first half. His stats aren't that good. His passes have been off the mark. The only pass that's really been successful has been that post uh, right over the middle. And uh, Michigan's given it to him, and maybe that's by design. You know, they give him that pass and then tighten up as they get down into four-down territory. 
Nick Luckhurst can't ask for more than five for five on field oh, goals. This one, a 45-yarder. If he can hook it through, and he does. California gets on the scoreboard. It's Michigan 10, California 3. Edwards and Anthony Carter are deep to receive the kickoff of Mick Luckhurst. 6.41 left to play in the first half. And Luckhurst's boot is hooking away, but Carter has it at about the two-yard line. Carter with an opening over the 20. Opening closed rather quickly. He is hauled down by Luckhurst himself. One of the keys to any successful kickoff return is to get the ball and run. Uh, you know, that sounds very simple, but a lot of guys will start tippy-toeing when they get it, but Anthony gets full speed and then never stops and never really makes a, a drastic cut. He will continue to go north and south, and that's one of the real keys to any successful kickoff or punt return, and Anthony has done an excellent job. That was for 24 yards. Let's pick up the action later in the quarter with Michigan in possession. Right at the 10-yard line. Second and eight for a first down. Second and 10 for a touchdown. This is the critical part of the field that Michigan's had trouble in the past. Punching it in from inside the 10-yard line. Kenny Gear comes out. Anthony Carter comes in and goes wide right on second and eight. Michigan, 220 left in the half. Lawrence Ricks sweeping right inside the five-yard line. Good tackle by Ulysses Madison, the linebacker, coming across as he met Lawrence Ricks head-on and brought him down. Ricks is averaging 76 yards a game rushing. He's got well over that now. But the thing that's impressive, he makes up his mind to cut it downfield toward the end zone, and he goes. He takes a bead on that end zone, and he'll run over people. And that's the kind of running you need down inside the 10-yard line where the yardage gets tough. Third down and one at the three of California. Anthony Carter split wide left. Stanley Edwards diving for the first down, but not the touchdown. Edwards did not make the first down. A little bit short, so Dunaway replaces Carter as Michigan goes for more blocking on fourth and one. Edwards diving over the pile, and that artistic effort Earns him a 7.5. <laughs> I didn't know we were going the Olympic scoring route, but I'd give him a 7.6. Give him also a first down at the California one-yard line. Mr. Thader not at all pleased with the possibility that Michigan will add seven more points to the score before the half. 117 left to play. First and goal at the one. You kind of like four chances from here. Got to give him a nine on that dive. Stanley Edwards, touchdown. Edwards is a four-sport star at Kettering High School in Detroit. And one of the sports was basketball. And here he shows his leaping ability, going off the left leg, over the the line of scrimmage into the end zone. That's the kind of offense Michigan needs inside the 10 as they punch it in on the ground. That's just their third touchdown scoring on the ground this season. Stanley Edwards has two of them. Haji Sheik attempting to add one more point to the Michigan score. And he does. A minute eight left in the half. It's Michigan 17 and California three. plays five and a half minutes for Michigan to score. Haji Sheik booms a kickoff to about the two-yard line where Sullivan picks it up straight ahead to the 25-yard line. Running through tacklers, Sullivan doing a very good job. On the next series downs, California was forced to punt, so we move ahead to action later in the quarter. 
49 yards to go and one play to do it in in four seconds. Look for Anthony Carter. Penalty flag is up. Wangler to Carter, knocked away by Kevin Moan, who figured that's what Michigan would do. He was absolutely right about that. From a straight fly, Carter has the up man beat, but they're doubling up on him. And Anthony almost has this as Wangler pulls it out, but there is Moan. Just gets a hand on it. If he doesn't get it, Anthony's got six. Penalty was against California. Cannot end the half on a penalty against the defensive team. It is stepped off five yards, and Michigan will get one more opportunity when it looked like there would only be one more play. And I think that we'll see California have a blanket over Anthony Carter. I think they'll put three men on him. Get the blue bag that the <laughs> Michigan <laughs> band is using for the Absolutely. Because he almost broke one that time. They got Alan Mitchell on the other side, though, and he's a speedster. Carter is at the bottom of your screen, in motion a little bit on this last play of the half, pending penalty flags. Over the middle. Carter, no, he didn't make the catch. Thought he had it for a moment. The ball bounces free, incomplete, and that's the end of the half with a score. Michigan 17 and California 3. Jim, it is pretty much the kind of game we expected. California throwing the ball, but not with as much success as we expected. And I think that's the key to the entire game is the fact that California hasn't been successful throwing, which is really the crux of their offense. If they don't throw the ball effectively, gain yardage, they're not going to be in the ball game. Statistics show that California is throwing it close to their average of 40 a game. 19 passes attempted, but only seven completed for 93 yards. Michigan will give that up. They don't mind. The big difference, yards rushing. Michigan out rushing California 183 to 37, 232 yards total offense. And the other big stat, one turnover for California, none for Michigan. The turnovers in the past couple of games have hurt Michigan, and they seem to have solved that problem. Lawrence Ricks running, the big factor for Michigan, and then Stanley Edwards was a factor in the second quarter. Absolutely. Stanley Edwards taking the ball in through the middle between the tackles, I think gaining good yardage against California, helped soften them up a little bit for the outside run in the pass, and Ricks has been running very well all day. He's over his average and scored Michigan's first touchdown, which came on a six-yard run through the left-hand side of the line. The key to the play was just the fact that they blocked well. Ricks found a crease and was in easily, and that was Michigan's second touchdown running of the season. That doesn't happen often. And then Stanley Edwards just goes over the top for Michigan's second score. And again, the key, Michigan inside the 10, able to punch it in on the ground. And that, I think, is going to help Bo Schembeck and make him feel a lot better about this first half. 17-3 at the half. Cal will have to throw to get back in the game, and we're ready for the start of the second half now. Michigan to kick off to start the second half, and Sheik sends it deep for John Sullivan, but he isn't going to run that one back. It's right off the back of the end zone. Let's pick up the action later in the quarter with California in possession. Second and seven for California. Tuggle and Booza go split wide to the right. Two setbacks behind Rich Campbell, and they change that now. Michael Bugs becomes a flanker on the left side. Dave Palmer, the fullback. Gergash wraps up Palmer for a loss of a couple. Paul Gergash, sophomore linebacker from Lakewood, Ohio. 6'1", 203, and watch him come knifing through to get Palmer before he can really get out of the blocks. Gergash, second on the team in tackles behind Canavino with 44. He has 26 solos. They give him at least 27 now. That was an outstanding play coming from the linebacker spot. Third down and eight for California. They start the second half with the first possession against Michigan. They trail 17 to three. Intended for Boza, knocked away by Carpenter, and a penalty flag is down. They're going to call it interference on Brian Carpenter. That's the way you're supposed to play defense, Larry, against the pass. I really... I really think that that's kind of a tough call to make. Boozer goes out, he'll run a curl up and in. Now watch Carpenter come from behind. He's going for the football. He is going for the football. He has every right for the ball, as does Booza. There is no problem there. He is taught to go through the man to the football. He comes around him. 
and makes a great defensive play knock the ball loose. I don't see any interference there at all. But of course, I'm not in the striped shirt either. No, no, they just missed a call, Jim. There are missed plays, there are missed calls, and that's a missed call. First and 10, California at the Michigan 19-yard line. The crowd continues to boo as Palmer tries to sweep right and finds very little room, runs into Gergash again. Second down, still eight yards to go. No gain at all on that play. Campbell looking to throw, no chance to throw at all. He was simply buried by Winfred Carraway, the nose guard who came pouring through on Rich Campbell for a big sack. Bo is looking for better play out of his middle guard. This time Carraway makes the big play, beats the center, and is in on Campbell before he can even set up to throw. Uh, Bo is looking for that. He wants that middle guard to play a little bit better. He's been experimenting with two of them, Carraway and uh, Tony Kelsey. And last week against South Carolina, Carraway made just one tackle, but he has come on and is playing well today. Third and 16 for California. Now back at the 26-yard line. Campbell's got receivers everywhere. Throws for the corner of the end zone. Got it! Touchdown! Absolutely beautiful throw to Michael Bugs. A great throw and a great catch. Whoa, he was... He had his back to the ball, and the ball was in mid-flight toward him. It was just a great catch. Marion bodies on the coverage. Campbell goes back. Bugs still running his pattern. Watch, he'll turn around and come back around and make the catch here. Just an outstanding catch. Good, quick reaction with his hands. Marion Body was doing a good job until the last step or two when Bugs slipped around him in the corner of the end zone. California has scored six, and Luckhurst makes it seven. Ten minutes remaining in the third quarter. Now it's Michigan 17 and California 10. The Golden Bears to kick off to Anthony Carter or Stanley Edwards. Luckhurst boots it, and Edwards chases it down at about the seven or eight yard line. Nowhere to go. Just straight up, and he is knocked out by Roberts, number five, Richard Rogers. After a turnover, we pick up the action later in the quarter with California in possession. 42-yard line, first and 10. Campbell wants to throw. Open man complete at the 30-yard line. Booza. There's a first down again. Credit the success of California's running game to that completion. Watch the play action, okay? Now he comes back. The linebackers are held in there. They don't get a drop at all. And Booza just comes underneath the deep coverage right behind the linebackers. They were late getting back there. Good completion. The Bears moving smartly down the field. They have scored once in this half. Cut a Michigan lead. Broken play, and Campbell just dives ahead back to the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a yard. Turned around, looked for somebody, and he wasn't there. One of the things that happen when you don't run that much is that you don't get to practice those running plays enough, and you miss assignment sometimes. Somebody missed that one. It'll be second down and nine yards to go. Ball at the Michigan 28-yard line. Booza. And Tuggle are split to the bottom of your screen. There goes Bugs out to the top. Palmer, the fullback, stays behind. Rich Campbell wants to throw. Big chase. Hurry completes that one. Tight end Lewis. David Lewis making a good catch of a ball thrown right toward the ground at the 24-yard line. Michigan comes on a blitz, and Canavino forces Campbell out of the pocket. But 
uh, at 6-5 with the strong arm that he has, he's able to find the tight end. The gain of about six. It'll be now a big third and four play. California, 50% on these circumstances. And Michigan jumps but gets back. Gonna throw. Campbell dodges. Gonna run. I haven't seen him do that, and he finally is buried. He was a little tentative about that run and wouldn't set to make a throw, and Robert Thompson was the man who wrapped him up. Michigan gambled again on defense, coming with the blitz, uh, and they forced Campbell out. You see, here's the linebacker, uh, uh, 94, that's uh, Herman. He's uh, behind gear gash, and he forces uh, Campbell up into the pocket where the interior line is there. Forces him into a fourth down and a kicking situation. Already a 45-yarder for Luckers. This one will be 43 if good, and it's certainly long enough, and it's dead right through the middle. Make it Michigan 17, California 13. California kicking off to Michigan again in this half as they have scored 10 quick points. Carter at the nine-yard line. Dodges one tackler, fumbles out of bounds at the 24. Michigan will take over first and 10 at the 24 with four and a half left in the third quarter. Let's pick up the action later in the quarter with Michigan in possession. So now it'll be first and 15. The 36-yard line of California. But this drive is eating up some time and some yardage for the Wolverines. Anthony Carter to the top of your screen. Alan Mitchell to the bottom. Wangler looking for Mitchell. Got him at the sideline. Incomplete. Well, Mitchell was open, but the ball was thrown too far out of bounds for him to reach. And it's second and 15. The clock stopped with 17 seconds left in this quarter. A deep out cut. Uh, the big play earlier in this drive. This time John throws it a little bit too far out of bounds. Mitchell hadn't yet come to the sideline. Had he been right at the sideline, maybe he would have been able to catch it. But John threw it a little bit too early. 15 yards to go on second down. Lawrence Ricks on the draw. Good move. There's your first down. All the way to the California two. Ricks busting for 34 yards to the California two. Ricks makes the play at the line of scrimmage. Watch this cut right there. He is through and then he makes the leg on the defender who misses the tackle and then he turns it straight upfield, which is a sign of a good runner to get the ball going north and south. And that ends the third quarter, Larry, with Michigan leading California with one quarter left to play, 17 to 13. Lawrence Ricks has moved to the sideline. They're checking him for an injury. Butch Woolfolk replaces him in the Michigan lineup. First and goal at the two-yard line. Ingram bangs ahead. I think they're going to call it the goal line. He crawled across, but they're not going to give him that one. I wonder if these officials saw that Notre Dame game, the first game of the year uh, against Purdue, when the Notre Dame guy crawled in from the three. Now, you got to call Ricks down there. Okay, that's a good call. I'll go along with that. But again, in, in the Notre Dame-Purdue game, the guy's knee hit about the three, and he kind of did the crawl over the end zone, and they gave him the touchdown. Could have given that one to Ingram, but it's second down and goal. Ingram again. Knocked back. A loss of two. Really hammered by Rich Dixon, 47. There was some assist help from Madison there, but Rich Dixon was the primary hitter on that one and a very, very big defensive play. Very big defensive play. Rich Dixon is their key outside linebacker. He is super fast, too. He outran a 9-3 sprinter last year with a 78-yard interception return. He just showed you his powers. He stood Lawrence, or rather, Gerald Ingram up in the hole. That was uh, Stanley Edwards. Ingram just came back in with Lawrence Ricks, and Ricks gets a little opening and spins in. Hard 
yardage, but they got it. Lawrence Ricks fighting his way through a little crease that was there, and he turned it into six points. He gets the last yard on his own. There he is hit by Kasseri, and he just rolls on into the end zone. That's a good instinct and good run, but Lawrence Ricks is down in the end zone. Ali Haji Sheik will try to make it 24. Hewlett on the hold. It's good, and with 13.46 left in this game, Michigan has widened its lead over California to 24 to 13. Sullivan deep for California as Sheik boots it high end over end and to the end zone. Sullivan runs it out over the 15. 22-23 yard line before he is turned back by a half a dozen Michigan tacklers. After a turnover, we pick up action later in the quarter with Michigan in possession. Second down and 22 now at the Michigan 17. Wangler looking, throwing it out to Edwards. Complete. Cut by Edwards, but he's down at the 20-yard line. Not enough yardage on that one. The idea was fine, but California was all over that play. I think Stanley right here is a little upset with himself that he didn't turn it upfield. He tries to make a cut and go around, and he slips, and he decides again. Maybe I better get up and try to get some yardage. And that outside foot goes down. I think Stanley a little bit upset with himself that he didn't just break it upfield and see if he could get a little bit more. Third down and 19. Wangler looks for Alan Mitchell. Got him at the 40. Cross field. Alan Mitchell turns it up. He got the first down at the 46-yard line before Coach Emilio brings him down. And an excited Alan Mitchell. Gives the high five all around. Alan Mitchell had a great game last week, as we said before, and this ball gets there just in time. He's in the open area and wants the safety. Just misses that. And then from here, Mitchell does it on his own, running across field. He had the first down and then actually went behind it and then came back upfield to get a little bit more. Good play by Alan Mitchell out of Catholic Central in Detroit. Brockington replaces Mitchell in the lineup on this first down play. Wolfo cuts away from the grain and slips at the 49. Wolfolk had dreams on that one. Play was going left, and he took it back right when he thought he might do better. I think when Bo looks at the films tomorrow, he's going to talk to Butch about doing too many jukes left and right instead of just turning it upfield and running. Looks like Butch also may have a tender ankle or something because he looks like he's in pain. He got four. It is second and six. The ball just short of the 50-yard line. Stanley Edwards breaks through to the Cal 35. Good running by Stanley Edwards as he gained 15 yards on that carry before Najeri and the linebacker can stop him. Stanley Edwards probably having his best game this year. Last year he was twice named ABC Player of the Week in televised games. Edwards showing his power and speed. He runs a 4-5 in the 40. And playing at fullback, he's kind of had to alter his style as a running back. But he is running as a tailback today from the fullback position. First and 10, Michigan at the Cal 35. Wolfo, sweep right. Got five, lowers the shoulder and gets a couple more. Mike Lozica pushed him out of bounds. This is the kind of drive that Michigan has had in the past uh, where they've closed out games. Wolfolk here makes a good cut at the line of scrimmage, and then turns it upfield, goes behind the block of Mitchell, who does a good job on the corner, and then he lowers that shoulder and gets a couple extra. So did Stanley Edwards. You saw him dive in there, and the Cal player went right over him and down, and that was a very important block for Wolfolk. Second and one as Butch got nine. Butch gets a second chance. Big opening. Cuts back, and there's your first down, and he's inside the 15. Nick Lozica makes the tackle. On consecutive plays, the brothers Lozica strike for California. Nick and Mike 
out of San Pedro. Play is blocked well at the line of scrimmage. Becker on the trap. Edwards keeps the backside clear, and then Butch makes the cut up inside. And then he shows his power. He is a world-class sprinter, yet when he runs in there to secondary people, he knocks them over. First and 10 at the 14. 4.45 left to play in the game. Edwards bangs all the way up near the goal line. Stanley Edwards takes all 14 in one play. They're not going to give him the touch, but he's awfully close. We talked about Stanley Edwards having a great day. Well, now he's up to 125 yards and 23 carries. This is just great power running. And again, we talk about this change in style. He is running like a tailback and yet blocking like a fullback. And I think this is the kind of production Bo has expected from him all year. You could have given him that touchdown, too. He yes. did slide over the goal line. But it is first and goal. And he gets it by diving. Edwards goes on the pile, carries over. They push back. It doesn't matter. Michigan has six more. Got to be extremely pleased with that drive in the sense that Michigan really went all the way on the ground and except for the one big pass play. There you see the touchdown. Edwards going over the top. He breaks the plane of the goal line, and that is a touchdown. Anytime the ball breaks that plane. And the thing is about the drive is that it kind of uses up a lot of the clock, and two, it kind of closes out California. That's what Michigan has been doing in the past that they haven't done this year. It's got to make both very happy. Sheik to attempt the conversion and give Michigan a 28-point lead. An 18-point lead, excuse me. I have a little math major there. <laughs> it's good. Michigan 31, California 13, with 4 minutes, 18 seconds left to play. Sheik to kick deep to Sullivan for California. Michigan needing only to protect this lead for the final four minutes. At the goal line, John Sullivan trips over his own man at the 21-yard line. Herman was there stacking the pile up. So California will get possession at the 24. They gave him the entire distance of his flying trip over his own player. And now Cal cannot afford to be patient. They've got to throw the ball downfield and deep. Michael Bugs comes out to the right. Puza splits left. But you never know with Cal. They may shift four or five players before the snap of the ball. They do not. And Campbell fakes the draw, throws the screen. It's complete in the flat. And they're going to get some good yardage out of that play. Terry Wiley, a backup flanker, gets 10, 11 yards before Winfred Carraway can scramble back and bring him down. Great play by Winfred Carraway coming all the way from his middle guard position. That's the kind of hustle Michigan needs as we take a look at the Wolverine scoring drive. First and 10. California gets a quick first down. Campbell goes back for more. Need to use a huddle. Complete to the tight end, Mosley. That's at the 48-yard line. Herman rides Mosley down. And that is a first down again. Where has this offense been all game? Well, maybe they should have been running the hurry up the entire 60 minutes. No huddle. They are set again at first down. But now at their own 48-yard line. Campbell has the time and the receiver tight end complete. Mosley. Another first down, this one at the Michigan, 37. Jeff Reeves took the brunt of that collision from Don Sprague, the tight end, senior from Coalinga, California. Well, they must call four or five plays in the huddle or call them at the line of scrimmage. I think that's what they're doing. Ten yards and a crack in this series. They go with a draw play, and Palmer, the fullback, gets inside the 30. He got about eight on that play. Mike Turgovac is injured on the play. They have quickly hurried out to check on Mike Turgovac. 
the one thing they don't need, Larry, is injuries in that interior defensive line. And Turgovac has been a stalwart in there all season long. Looks like he might have a shoulder or something. But he's coming off. Might have just bumped him a little too hard and something didn't feel right. Might stay down for a second. Senior from Austintown, Ohio, leaves his front teeth in his locker before he comes out and plays a whale of a football game for Michigan. He was a two-time, I think, all-state heavyweight wrestling champion in the heavyweight division, playing his senior year here at Michigan. Second and one for California. Palmer gets nine on that draw play. Campbell, off to Palmer. He's running for the sideline. Oh, he didn't get the first down either. Ran out of bounds at about the 30 or the 29-yard line. He had to turn it up to get that first down. I think he thought he had it. And he had room, too. He had room to get the first down. No huddle. They are set to line up again. 3-12 left fourth quarter. 31-13, Michigan on top. But Cal moving quickly downfield. Third down and two. Yeah, that play didn't work at all the way it should have. They should be first and 10. Go for the draw. Palmer met by Canavino, and that's going to be close, very close to the first down. Back to going to measure. 3.01 on the clock. California threatening to put one up here, but then they would have to turn the ball over to Michigan and hope for a mistake, turnover, fumble. I expect if they do get into the end zone, Roger Theater will say, let's try the onside kick. We've got to get the ball back. a yard for California. They need this one to have any chance at all. Bugs in motion. Just a pullback. And he is knocked off his feet. Cedric Cole, I think, 92, is the man who made the collision. And the tackle was sealed by Lemoran later. But what a great hit. And the Michigan defenders rolling around congratulating themselves. What a, a hit. Look. Oh. Mike Lemoran, 93, watch it. Boom, right there. Lemoran makes the hit to stop it. And then Coles is the guy to close it down. What a great defensive play by Mike Lemoran coming in. He met Palmer at the line of scrimmage and there was nowhere to go. Fourth and one, you have to have it. I'm surprised at the formation. One setback. You can only go to that guy and the uh, Michigan unloaded on it. And you keep two linebackers to meet him wherever he goes to the line of scrimmage, and Lemoran did just that. Under three minutes to play as Rich Hewlett takes over at quarterback for Michigan. First down at their own 30-yard line. And he runs the option. Pitch to Wolfolk. Five, six, seven-yard gain for Butch Wolfolk. And the clock keeps ticking. Got to believe, first play, uh, Rich Hewlett runs the option. Bo's going to get that into any ball game he plays. Michigan out of the huddle in the California defense, not yet established. Or Hewlett out. Hewlett on the spin, runs the option again. He's got some room and a first down. He didn't want to go out of bounds, but was forced out. At the 49-yard line, Rich Hewlett, Greg Beagle bumped him out of bounds. 2.15 left to play in the game, 31 to 13. Michigan leads California, and Rich Hewlett entrusted with running out this clock. Gets a good block there to turn the corner. You see, that's the option. Uh, the end came outside to take the pitch back, and then Hewlett, a quarterback, gives a good forearm shiver to that tackler. 
he's in there, he wants to play. First and 10 at the Michigan 49. Gerald Ingram bangs into California territory. Gained a couple, it'll be second down and eight yards to go and the clock ticks. Michigan on the way to its second victory if things stay the way they are and for California, a tough fourth loss in a row. Second down and eight. Kenny Gear splits out to the top of your screen. Fred Brockington to the bottom of your screen. Wolfolk and Ingram. Hewlett keeps it and there's nowhere to go and he's hauled down but a face mask penalty will be called as Kirk Karakazov wrapped up Hewlett but grabbed him by the face mask. Looked like they went the wrong way on the action that time. You see most of it opening up to the right. They're coming back this way but the point of attack is totally taken care of. Here's Karakazov. You see the left hand there. Uh, really inadvertent gets in there. He pulled it off. He knew he had him, but the referee was there to call it. So that's a big 15-yarder against California. And when it rains, it pours. Don't start. It didn't rain today. It just got cold. Let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> well, we only got a minute 34 left. I think we're safe. 34-yard line of California. First and 10, Michigan. Got a second lineup in there, giving them a chance to get some action. Hewlett is leading it. Steps back to throw. Deep in the corner for Kenny Gear. In the right place, but couldn't quite make the catch. Similar to the play that California scored on, little play action holds the linebackers. Hewlett gets some pressure. Puts it out there. Gear runs behind the defender. Comes in underneath to try to make it. It hit him on the left shoulder. Couldn't hold on. So it goes as an incomplete pass. Second and 10, Michigan. Hewlett will uh, give it to Wolfolk. Straight ahead. Butch got some good running room. Nice cut. Good cut. 10-yard line. Inside the five. Butch Wolfolk with a dazzling run. 32 yards or so on the carry for Butch Wolfolk. Michigan, I tell you, has some uh, wealth of running backs. This is just a great run. First of all, the hole's there, okay? Lilja getting a great block. Butch sees though, now he makes the great cut to get out of the way of one guy. He fakes this guy inside and then cuts him back outside. That's just instinct, boy. You don't coach that. He runs around another guy. That's just great speed, tremendous running ability. And I think when Butch looks at the game films tomorrow, he'll say, Coach, see, that's why I make all those little fakes. <laughs> and Coach is standing there going, oh, Butch, wait a minute. I'm not sure. First and goal at the one-yard line. Michigan's second unit looking sharp here in the final four minutes. And Wolfolk fights it in. Touchdown. You knew they were going to give the ball to Butch on that one because he'd made such a great run to get it down there. Butch not playing a whole lot today because of Ricks, and Ricks had a great day. This time there's a hole big out there. Good block by Ingram, and then Butch just pushes the shoulder down and powers in. See him wrap up that football. No he more fumbles. Fumbled a couple of times in close, and Butch kept it in both hands that time. Ali Hajishi to try another conversion. He's had a busy afternoon. For a change, that makes the crowd at Ann Arbor very, very happy. Kick is good, and Michigan widens its lead to 38-13 to with only 33 seconds left to play. Sullivan is deep for California as Michigan kicks off again, and Sheik's kick goes into the end zone, and Sullivan runs it out over the 10, 15. Slips and fumbles the ball. And it appears that Michigan has recovered. No, they're not going to give it to him. They're going to say that the ball was down and we can take a second look. 
Well, you know, it's going to be hard. He slips, okay, there's his knees down, but he's hit as he goes down and the ball pops loose. It looked an awful lot like a fumble to me. I think the referees are being uh, generous here to California because they are taking it on the chin this afternoon. 70 yards in seven plays, something the second unit can be very proud of when they look at the game films this week. Absolutely. And it consumed most of the four minutes that they had to consume. 27 seconds, all that remains for California. And this one is in the win column for Michigan. Out pass to the sideline, complete. Spinning down is tight end Don Sprague, but he did not get out of bounds. That's the key. You got to get out of bounds. Fox running now. They may get one more play off. No huddle. Eight seconds left. Sprague is not in position. He didn't want another play. He didn't get out of bounds, and he isn't going to get off the field. It was decided anyway. The ball game really over when Michigan's second team knocked in that last touchdown. And the final this afternoon is Michigan 38 and California 13. Be sure to join us next week as the Michigan State Spartans travel to Ann Arbor to take on the Michigan Wolverines. Once again, that final score today, Michigan 38, California 13. The executive producer of On TV Sports is Rocky Flitterman. Today's game was produced by Chuck Wazelark. Our assistant director has been Bob Stackpool. Our associate producer, John Tuey. Stage manager, Michael Smith. This has been a sports presentation of National Subscription Television.